The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's biographer tweeted a photograph of the York family dressed in Victorian-themed outfits on Thursday evening. The image was shared as part of the I'm Gonna Tell My Kids meme, where the poster shares an image of a certain celebrity or object, when in fact it's far from the actual celebrity or object mentioned in the tweet. Mr. Scobie, who co-authored the royal biography Finding Freedom, accompanied his snap of Prince Andrew, Sarah Ferguson and the two daughters Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice with the caption, Going to tell my kids this was Bridgerton. The snap itself dates from Princess Beatrice's 18th birthday in 2006 where the celebrations had a Victorian 1880s theme. As a result, the family sported beautiful period costumes akin to those worn by the cast of Netflix hit Bridgerton. Season 2 of the Regency-style drama recently broke its own record to become the most-watched English-language series on Netflix. According to Deadline, the Regency-era series had a total of 627. 11 million hours viewed on Netflix over a 28-day period, just surpassing season 1 which had 625. 4 million hours of viewing during the same time. The drama is set during the Regency era in England and follows the story of eight close-knit siblings from the Bridgerton family as they attempt to find love. Dubbed a historical fantasy by some, the show's costumes are widely praised as the Regency era dresses silhouettes are one of the show's most accurate aspects. Mr. Scobie tweeted the meme to his 82,600 followers however a short time later, the post was taken down. One Twitter user pointed out that Mr. Scobie may have deleted the tweet as a result of his new position. Jesus Enrique Roses, who runs the successful The Body Language Guy channel on YouTube and regularly comments on the royal family, shared a screenshot of Mr. Scobie's meme and claimed the royal commentator was aiming to be a cool chad with his post. However, he points out that the meme was posted just two days after Omid Scobie announced a new content partnership with Yahoo News. Mr. Scobie was hired by the company to serve as executive royal editor, and in a tweet describing his new role he said he would be working, on original podcasting, video content, and giving my unfiltered take on the big royal stories every week. Jesus, the body language analyst, pointed out that, he too, comments on the royal family on his YouTube channel but doesn't report to bosses in the same way Mr. Scobie does. He said because he serves, no master, then there are, no boundaries, to what he can post. His response to the meme also included a play on words for the biography he wrote about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Jesus wrote, I understand oh, he tried to play the cool Chad card making royal meme, the problem is if his bosses allow that, that's why he deleted the tweet. But for a rogue royalist like yours truly who serves no master. Memes know no boundaries. Guest found freedom? Followers of the YouTuber issued a further blow to Mr. Scobie by claiming he lacked knowledge of history. A user called B wrote, as somebody who calls himself a royal reporter one would think he would have some history background, sick, Bridgerton is set in 1814 Regency era, different dresses, the ones Sarah and the daughters are wearing is from 1880s fashion. While another user called Jonah wrote, I didn't think it was funny at all. In the photo from Mr. Scobie's deleted tweet, the birthday girl is pictured wearing a £10,000 blue silk taffeta dress that was flown in from New York. Her party consisted of a gala dinner and masked ball held at Windsor Castle. The party's theme was a nod to her great-great-great-grandmother, Victoria, after whose youngest daughter she was named. The Duchess of York and her younger daughter, Princess Eugenie, chose to complement the birthday girl's outfits by wearing creams and blues with dresses by Barbara Matera. Despite rumors circularly at the time that the Queen would attend at least the dinner portion of the £400,000 celebration, the monarch and Prince Philip went to Sandringham for the weekend instead.